Forskaren Sander van der Linden vid universitetet vid Cambridge ser flera orsaker. Sometimes we accept information simply because we like the messenger or the messenger is charming or some other reason that's totally unrelated to the actual content of the message. En annan anledning kan vara att få sin världsbild eller sin politiska hållning bekräftad. People basically receive news that's consistent with the political beliefs that they already have. Repetition is a key factor too, something we call the mere exposure effect. So the more the more you repeat something, the more true it seems to people. So something that gets repeated often, like a conspiracy theory, um, and in fact, uh, Hitler wrote about this in Mein Kampf, that basically the strategy was to repeat something often enough, and eventually people will believe it. I en uppmärksammad studie har Sander van der Linden tillsammans med forskarkollegor i USA forskat fram en möjlig lösning för att lättare kunna skilja fakta från falska påståenden. Right, and so in the study itself we try to develop what the media call a psychological vaccine against fake news. Liknelsen med vaccinet består att vi ju blir immuna mot en sjukdom när vi vaccineras mot den. Kroppens immunförsvar bygger då upp ett eget motstånd genom att vi får en liten dos av själva smittämnet. Studien visade att om vi ihop med fakta också får ta emot en liten dos av osanning och en varning för den så har vi lättare att genomskåda falska nyheter. En annan slutsats var också att när vi väl har byggt upp vår motståndskraft mot falsk information så kan vi i framtiden enklare avfärda andra osanningar. Alltså ett psykologiskt vaccin mot falska nyheter. You could start news articles for example by saying oh you might have heard this or that um, but be careful because that isn't true and then here are the actual facts sort of that follows the inoculation the psychological vaccine format and so when you can interfere and interject and sort of nudge people out of this autopilot system one um, automated type thinking into being a bit more vigilant a bit more conscious a bit more deliberate uh, by warning them um, that might be the nudge that people need to sort of shift out of one mode into being a little more reflective and so I think a general warning could help achieve that goal. Don't you, don't you know you